right, let's build the part that's going to turn the main load wheel. This is going to be a pretty straightforward build. This one's not very complicated. So these are one by six Technic bricks, two side by side, with a two by six plate on top. Actually, we'll build both sides at the same time since it's that easy. So two side by side, with a two by six plate on top. As you can see, I don't have all my colors still. Uh, it's a massive set, so some of these pieces aren't the colors that I want them to be. But I really want to get these instructions out to you so you can try building this. Uh, it's a great project to work with, and I want to make sure that everyone has a fair crack at it. So far they're looking, they're exactly the same, just one's the right colors, one's not. Here's where we put them together. Now for structure, we're going to be running pins through here to hold the whole thing as one piece. So these are one by two Technic bricks. And as you can see, we're going to be putting several of them in here as part of the assembly. Two by four plate. These are slopes. I'm sure you can build this without these slopes, it just makes it look that much more cool. Remember, part of the design of this isn't just function, but it's form. Now to hold this all together, I'm going to put some pins through here. So these are the 3M pins with friction. And we'll do the same on the other side. This is exactly why we put these pins in. Okay. There. Absolutely solid.
remember it has to spin. It has to be loose but not too loose and it can't be tight. So that spins nicely. Put that right in the center. Everything is about style. So let's make this look good. Should spin fairly freely. Now these are small stud pins. gearing to make it work. Alright, so we'll put in this six stud axle. Making sure that we clear underneath while still allowing it to spin so it doesn't collide underneath. Here. Let's see exactly how that fits together. And while we have this, this side with the gear, we'll put a 1M bushing, making sure that it rotates freely. And then on the other side, we'll put a 40 tooth gear. Just like that. And it seems to be a little bit tight. There we go. Okay. You may notice I've forgotten one piece. So through the magic of video, I will bring it up. That guy. Put a 
10M axle through. And we'll grab an 8 tooth gear. And we're going to put that on so that we have space at the end. This is so we can slide that 8 tooth gear out of drive and back as we're setting up the timing. There's a few of these timing points that are built into the machine so that you don't have to disassemble the whole thing in order to adjust the timing. Now this piece that we just brought in goes right here. And you'll see why, because it's going to hold this next part in place better. So, this next part slides on part way. The crown gear goes on next. And it slides the rest of the way on, locking onto that pin we just put into place. And that keeps it nice and in place. Just make sure that we're not pinching anything, nothing's too tight, everything still moves very easily. And remember, friction will slow down this device. So now we'll take the other part of the crown gear, and we'll put that into place here. Okay. And an extension. And this is going to go to our next module that we will be building further down the line. So just make sure nothing's tight, nice and loose, looking good. Alright, so now it's just to build the last part of the drive assembly. bricks and a 1x6 plate. A 1x2 with two holes Technic brick. A 1x4 and for dashing good looks a tile across the top. And that slides in to here. Before we put that one on, we'll start adding our gears. So first of all we've got this guy. And then a 24 tooth gear as an idler gear. And this eight tooth gear slides into there. And this comes in to support the whole assembly. So, just like that, put it on our board. And we'll connect a motor. See it runs very smoothly, again, with our lock on our battery box, it turns in the correct direction. Should be ready to add this now to the rest of the machine. Thanks for watching.